PeopleSoft offboarding provides a simple and intuitive way to manage the tasks that need to be completed when an employee leaves your organization. PeopleSoft offboarding is inclusive of all individuals involved in the termination process, such as the employee, manager, IT staff, and others, and leads them through the required steps to complete the exit process. When you enter an employment termination in the system, offboarding uses push and email notifications to alert participants that they have steps they need to perform to complete the termination process. Participants can access the offboarding activity guide by selecting the link in the notification. You can also use the Activity Guide Composer Activity Guide Tile component to publish customized offboarding tiles to home pages. By accessing the tile, you can view your activity guide progress. The activity guide displays the steps needed to complete the offboarding process. Steps may include an exit survey, verifying contact and banking information, a place to upload or review documents, or a step to indicate that you have submitted all expenses. Steps can vary depending on whether the termination is voluntary or involuntary. As you move through each step, Review and update information as needed, then mark it as complete. The left panel navigation tracks the status of your steps. Some steps may require you to answer questions and save the page, and then the system will mark the step complete. Grayed out steps belong to another participant in the process. If you need to leave the activity guide process, the system saves your progress and you can return later to complete your tasks. The activity guide remains available until you've completed all your tasks in the offboarding process. This completes our demonstration of the offboarding feature. The benefits summary page is modernized in HCM Image 32. The associated benefit pages have also been fluidized to give the employee a seamless experience. Similar to benefits enrollment, employees can choose to see their benefit plans in a card or a grid layout. By default, the page displays the benefit plan summary information as of the current date. Employees can select a different date to review their benefit plans from the past or if there are any future changes. Select any card to view the corresponding plan in Fluid. Configuration settings are available on the Benefit Program table to set up options for employees, such as Add Beneficiaries, Update Designations, Contributions, and Funds, and View Latest Deductions, all from within the Benefit Plan pages. Set up your options in the Additional Summary Configuration section on the Benefit Program table Plan Type and Option page. This completes our demonstration of the Modernization of Benefit Summary feature. In HCM Image 32, the HCM Fluid Attachment Framework adds a new option enabling employees, managers, and administrators to view the document type and category of an attachment and to view all attachments at once. The View All Attachments capability is available if a transaction is configured to allow multiple attachment types and categories. This completes the Attachments, Enhanced View of Types and Categories, description. Payroll for North America provides two new options to run the batch process that resets the consent status of U.S. year-end forms for employees. In addition to using the existing options, payroll administrators can also select employees for the consent reset process by specifying a group that is created using the Group Build feature or by uploading a flat file with employee IDs. The new options are available for resetting consent to U.S. Forms W-2 and W-2C. This completes the PNA Year-End Employee Consent Reset description.
The Business Partner feature gives the administrator additional capabilities to view overlapping members, configure approvals, and specify where to display partner information throughout the system. The new View Overlapping Members report enables you to view those individuals who show up in more than one business partner team of the same type, such as human resources or benefits. Knowing this, if needed, you can update team information to avoid having a person with more than one business partner contact within the same area. In conjunction with the Approvals Framework, you can identify which employee self-service transactions an employee can route to his or her business partner for approval. The Display Partner Information page allows you to show business partner contact information on application pages. We've configured the system to show the human resource contact on the additional information page within personal details, but you can set up other pages to display this information as well. This completes the HR Business Partner Enhancements description. The current pay period timesheet lockdown feature allows an administrator to lock timesheets for current and previous pay periods based on pay group. The timesheet lockdown page displays all active pay groups in the system. Administrators can select one or more pay groups to be locked. Once a pay group is selected, the system displays timesheets for the locked pay group in read only mode. Search the pay group to be locked. Select the Lock Current and Prior Periods option for the pay group and save. Access the timesheet of an employee belonging to a locked pay group. The timesheet shows a message to indicate that the timesheet is locked. This completes our demonstration of the Current Pay Period Timesheet Lockdown feature. In HCM Image 32, Time and Labor introduces a new setting that allows customers to defer the update of reported time hours until the time is either saved or submitted on both employee and manager self-service pages. The Reported Time Totals on Time Entry option is available in the Time and Labor configuration and it is enabled by default. Turn this option off if you want to defer the updating of totals until the time is saved or submitted. This feature delays updating the reported time total in the weekly banner and daily status bar on all time reporting pages, such as the daily time page, weekly time review page, weekly time pre-pop-up page, and time sheet, until the time reporter saves or submits their time. This completes the Deferred Update of Reported Time on Fluid Time page description. With Update Image 32, administrators have the ability to configure and publish profile content tiles to the Employee Snapshot Summary Dashboard. Now your organization can display profile data that is not on a delivered tile as well as show profile information that you've created yourself. This completes the configurable profile content in Employee Snapshot description. In Image 32, ePerformance adds the ability in the Auto Transfer feature to transfer in-progress documents automatically when employees change managers as a result of a job change. Administrators have the option to apply this functionality to all or a list of selected document types, specify the number of buffer days between the transfer date and the period end date for documents not to be transferred, add X managers as document reviewers, and transfer documents with past period end dates. On the Administration page to review document transfer statuses, administrators can look up documents that were transferred because of employee manager change by transfer type. This completes the description of the ePerformance Auto Transfer Document on Manager Change feature.
In HCM Image 32, Benefits Administration renames the Manage Life Event Instances page to Manage Benefits Instances, enabling Benefits Administrators to delete both Life Event and Fluid Open Enrollment Instances from the page. This page is available from within the Benefits Management component in the Benefits Administrator Navigation Collection. This completes the Open Enrollment Activity Guide Instance Cleanup description. PeopleSoft HCM Image 32 offers the flexibility to schedule payroll jobs, enabling the system to retain the run control parameters for scheduled runs. If multiple users finalize or cancel the calendar, the system deletes stored run control parameters and cancels its corresponding scheduled job. If the user who scheduled the payroll job is different from the one who cancels or finalizes the calendar, the system sends a mail notification to the user who scheduled the job. You can schedule recurring batch processes by selecting a recurrence frequency on the Process Scheduler Request page. This completes the Scheduling Global Payroll Runs description. Global Payroll for Brazil provides administrators with the ability to add and manage attachments in absence requests. Administrators can now upload, update, view, and delete attachments when they enter or manage absence requests for payees. This completes the absence attachments for Global Payroll for Brazil description. Federal HR administrators can add, update, or delete attachments to a personnel action request using the Fluid Guided Personnel Actions feature. The attachments are also routed for approval and available for review to the personnel action request approvers. You can enable the attachments functionality in Guided PAR Transactions using the Page and Field configuration. The Attachments feature is also supported for Correct Personnel Action and Cancel Personnel Action Transactions. This completes the attachments for U.S. Federal PAR Processing description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.